Once again, you're welcome, dear viewers. Thank you for being part of Legacy Channel Africa, LOC Africa. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for all the moral and financial support. Once again, we're here to take on with our topic that we started on some time back. Um, if we must have a sweet relationship, for a sweet relationship, relationship i was trying to break the word relationship relation then ship where the word ship is used in many instances friendship fellowship partnership relationship it is a situation a moment in relationship of being related relationship between i and my student i say she's my student is my student she will say, he will say, he is my teacher. That is the relationship. For friendship, it is only friendship only when we are friends. When we cease to be, then we no longer talk about friendship, relationship. Then we have, like I said, partnership. A moment, a situation of being partners. Partners in business, partners in any other form. We also have marriage partners. Once again, this moment we want to continue with our interesting but sensitive and important topic for a sweet relationship if we must have a sweet relationship the other day those who didn't follow we did say that it is supposed to begin with friendship in a normal situation these people who end up in marriage are supposed to be friends i said supposed actually Allow me to declare, they must be friends. This is a thing that must not be rushed. Otherwise, when we rush, we crash. They are supposed to be friends and unconditional friendship. We take on with the friendship for some time. We said, these people must have a moment. These people, I talk about the boy and the girl who are friends now, who will end up in marriage. The friendship will help us, will help him to learn each other. In this, the likes and dislikes, the strengths and weaknesses, the talents and abilities, the personalities, personality differences, because we have four personalities and we are different because of that. By birth, it is just by birth. So this friendship will help them to learn each other, the likes, the interests, the hobbies, there are questions that are embarrassing to ask. I did say the other time that there are five most important or sensitive decisions or choices we must make. Among them, I said number one, choice or decision on a career or choice of a career. The job, the occupation that one will do, it is a choice we make. I want to know, I want to, to say, there are people who end up doing something which was not their choice. But out of frustration and disappointment, that's another case. But if it is soberly done, we make a choice on the career. When people go to school at senior three level in Uganda, that is, they make choice of the subjects. These subjects are part of their dream. They will lead them into what they are planning to do in future. At senior five, the number of subjects reduce, although the quantity of work does not reduce. They are selected carefully looking at what one is intending to do. Number two, choice or decision or choice of associates, friends. I said these are most sensitive, there are five. Number one, we said choice of a career. Two, choice of associates or friends. This must be selected carefully. This number two is going to lead us to the continuation of our topic, our discussion. Then three, we said choice or decision on one's faith. What you will believe in and how you will conduct it. That is number three. Then number four, we said, ah, uh, okay, let me come to the most important decision or choice on health. What will you eat? How will you eat it? When will you eat it? Because all this determines our health, the physical exercise and all that stuff. Number four, number five, which is the core of our discussion this moment, is choice or decision on a marriage 
partner. I have already questions coming from you. Men were asking, now, when should this be done? I have not given an absolute answer, and I will not give it. That's according to me. According to the books, they may give or advise or counsel or caution. According to them, the different writers, they have their feeling. An opinion is a private property. I want to imagine, for all people, it will not begin at the same time. To some people, it may begin early enough. Feelings about the opposite sex. But I said, whatever it will be, whatever the season, the period, the timing, it must be that these two are friends. They must have a moment to sit together, to move together, to discuss together. This is what we call pairing off. From the word pair, the English word pair means any two. These are any two, boy and girl, or man and woman, who will end up into a couple sometime. But they are now just being a pair because they are just still friends. In a friendship, they will discuss freely, we hope. Naturally, even the questions we may not willingly ask, or readily ask, they will be answered naturally. Like, the physical disability, this will be seen. Like, the mental disability, this will be seen. From one's discussions, one's comments, one's talks, we may shall make conclusions. Pairing off, then we come to number three, which is called dating. Dating from the word date, D-A-T-E, the dates of a calendar. The importance of this is one will visit the home or the home place or workplace of the other. And there are so many other questions that will be answered there. Like how many are you in the family? Like which position are you? When we are going to deal with people, permanent dealing, which we call a marriage relationship, there are things we must know. This person I'm going to go out with, since it is a permanent relationship, which position is he or she in the family? Is he the last born? This will determine a lot of things. Is he the firstborn? This will mean a lot of things. Is he the only boy or girl? Is he alone? There are so many things we need to understand. Somehow, the way this person will behave is so much having a bearing on what position he or she was in the family. We said for those who are born alone, he's just alone, he's the only child of the family, there is a certain way he will behave. For this being the only girl in the child, she will behave in a certain way. This being the only boy, daddy's boy, mommy's boy in the family, will behave in a certain way. First born, last born, etc. These things must be seen with time, with friendship. We have a moment to sit together, discuss together, go for fellowship together, workshops, etc. There are so many things we shall learn. This amount we call pairing off. Then we came to dating. I'm just making a recap of what we discussed the other time because it is sensitive. It is there since it has taken some time now. It may it is not this what I'm discussing is not a process that takes a week. No, someone told us process by process. Indeed it is. It is here that they have seen each other, each other's strengths and weaknesses, the physical abilities, the mental abilities, the deformalities, the family members. Because marriage means to bring together. To marry means to bring together. My weaknesses, my strength, my family members and yours. When we bring them together, this is what we call marriage. It begins with the two people. But it will end up bringing so many people on board. It begins with I having my album, photo album. It will end up having I bringing my photos, herself bringing her photos. Then we make a single album. This is what marriage means. It will mean my people, relatives, friends, parents, sisters, brothers. They will become her brothers, sisters, parents. We shall only add the word in-law. Because of this, since it is not a temporary thing that's going to take a day, a week, a month, a year, since it's going to be permanent, we need to be sensitive. I said we go back to one must be a friend, your friend. Then we come, it is here that the word love must be mentioned. Must be mentioned here. Having discovered that the person you are going to suggest to propose to will not let you down. In Uganda here, having discovered that 
the clans, the totems, will not clash. For example, marriages in Uganda are supposed to be exogamous, exogamous marriage, like it was in African past. I, the discussant, in my totem, then my mother's totem, then my mother's father and mother, then my father's mother. Those close, close totems must be far. If I was to look for someone, and when I was looking for someone, I took those factors important. The first question is when we meet to be friends. Oh, may I know your name? But of course, politely, I introduced my name. My name is Insuga, and you? She told me her name is Nanono Esther. Oh, from the Ngo totem. Oh, how about your mother's name? She told me. Then I also took trouble to know that these close, close totems are not anyway related to mine. Therefore, when we go on, we took on with the process, there will not be any barriers to our relations that, that we are intending. It is here I say that we mention love. Oh, my friend, indeed, actually, we have been friends for some time. I have seen your strength. I have seen your weaknesses. I have seen your temper. You are short-tempered or, or quick-tempered or hot-tempered. But all this I will bear. I have taken trouble to know what annoys you. You are easily angered because of this. When someone misplaces your uh, items, you are easily angered. But I, I, I can accommodate this. This period of time helps us to know all of this. Because we are going to an affair which is supposed to be sweet. Our discussion is in a sweet, for a sweet relationship. It is here that we mention love. And I hope it will be welcome and accommodated and received. So we take on with our love. Now, the people who began as friends, now we can qualify them to be a couple or we qualify them to be fiancé and fiancé. Remember, one is feminine, the other is masculine. Fiancé and fiancé. It is here that they graduate to that level. Thereafter, we begin a period called the courtship. Courtship is one of the sensitive, sensitive, sensitive things in life. It is better, let me make a statement, to have a broken relationship than a broken marriage. If we are not to have a broken marriage, not even a broken relationship, there are things we must take into account. And these are what we are trying to break down. I said we begin the courtship. How long should the courtship take? The period of time may not matter. What matters is the quality of the courtship. The quality of the courtship matters much more than the period of courtship. In this courtship period, I said and I still say and request that the real truth must be said and nothing but the truth. <laughs> My friend, you didn't know. Actually, I am this. I have this weakness. I got an accident sometime which claimed my front upper teeth. These ones you see are just but artificial. They were made somewhere about them in order for me to cover the gap. I don't have them. Before we commit ourselves into marriage, in order not to embarrass someone, I married someone of a physical disability. All this must be talked about. This hair you see here is not natural, no. There is an extension of some artificial hair. Some, so when you see long hair falling on the back, uh, and when you see when I'm walking and you, you admire, it is not natural. The natural stops somewhere, then we have the artificial. All this must be discussed. I am just giving but two examples, those ones. It is in courtship, I, I say, that all the truth, actually the final truth must be said. It is a period of winning each other right before marriage. But it is also a period equally of saying all the truth before marriage. It is a period in which the importance of courtship now, good courtship, it is a period in which we even make the family planning. Family planning is another topic. It is not only about the number of children. When someone has a big number of children, people will say he didn't have family planning. No, it is broader, broader than this. It is wider. It is here that these two people who have now agreed that will become husband and wife, that they discuss when will they marry. How will their marriage, the function be? Where will it be conducted? 
the boy will not ask where he will be taken for introduction because from the period of friendship to pairing off to dating all this at least we imagine he has visited sometime the girl's home family just as a friend so you will not ask many other questions even to those people where the girl has they have more than one site the father has a home, an upcountry home. They have a home in Machi India, a home somewhere. They have a brother's big house somewhere, which has a big, beautiful compound. All this they have discussed and agreed. So it will not be an embarrassment that I hadn't told you. It is not Machi India. It is Bugiri. No. In the process of friendship, pairing off, dating, love, courtship, all this has been discussed and agreed upon. By the way, it is in courtship that we discuss the future plans, financial plans, business plans. What are you intending to do? It is very embarrassing for a couple, newlywed, one month after wedding or two or three or one year, one of them plans to go and work abroad, from abroad. The income we get here is not enough. I intend to go to Dubai, to Qatar. But the marriage is just one year old. They have not even had a child, or oh, if they have, it is just a few months or days old. It is in courtship that we discuss all this, that I am a grade three teacher, or I am a nursery teacher, and um, you know, we're not working now for two years, our wedding is going to be in October, that, but around December, I have a cousin in UK who is planning to take me there to work for at least some three years, to amass the capital, then come back and see what to do. It must be discussed. It is not to get someone shocked in marriage that, you know, I have been planning this next month, I intend to leave. It is an embarrassment. It is a shock. The importance of courtship is all that the two intend to have in future must be put on table without hiding a thing. By the way, even the number of children. Assuming the boy, the candidate in question now, wants to have a dozen children, and is not intent to marry a second wife or third wife. But the girl's opinion is to have four. You see the difference of eight is big. It is in this time that it must be discussed. Otherwise, if not, one will end up into going on for an away match in order to look for the children. It is this time that in courtship, they must agree on the number and reasons must be given. Dear, Assuming we get uh, twins, how shall we conduct them? How shall it be? It, it is in this period that all this is discussed. Assuming we got only girls or only boys, single-sex children, how shall we do it? It is in this period that all this is discussed. Family planning is not discussed in marriage. No, it is fulfilled in marriage. In order for us to space our children, what methods of birth controls shall we use? Will it be condoms? Will it be long period of breastfeeding? Will it be withdrawal method? Will it be uh, pills? Will it be ETC? All these natural and artificial. It is in courtship. Whatever is not understood by one of them should be made clear. Otherwise, not to take someone for granted the importance of courtship. I said, why are we discussing freely? Because we began with the friendship. So we are discussing with a friend. We are not finding any hurdles, any difficulties in this. So, having had all the discussions, all the important moments in courtship, now we can enter into an institution that is lifelong relationship, now called marriage. I have heard people say, um, falling into love, falling into love, I think it is a wrong uh, statement to make. We are not supposed to fall in love. We are supposed to grow or develop into love. We began with the friendship. Falling in love means one was got by force. One was got unaware. One was pushed into it. No, it, it shouldn't be. I said we are discussing a topic called for a sweet relationship. The relationship is supposed to be sweet. It is supposed to be a small heaven on earth, a small heaven. It is supposed to be one which gives examples, which people must come and look at. This is supposed to be. But when all, if all these steps were missed, there are many, many regrets that we are going to experience. Many regrets. 
The road of I don't care leads to I wish I knew. We are not supposed to say I don't care. I wish I knew. This is bad in a relationship. It will affect we the two. It will affect the children and the grandchildren and the neighbors and the rest of the society. For a mistake that was done somewhere. Yes, there are very many people who rush into it because of reasons. He wants to marry because he has been promised promotion at the workplace. He must get a big job, manager somewhere at Shell Petrol Station or Shell Company. Total. He must be promoted to head teacher or given head teachership in a certain uh, whatever school. So some steps are missed. He's rushing, he's looking around for someone who is not even his friend because, because he wants a job. Or so he said, whatever it is, it is not supposed to be rushed. There should not be reasons given between there. Because at the church they told me, in order to be a church elder, you know, a head deacon or what, I must be married. So you look around for someone you don't really love. But because of proximity, he's the one who is around. He's the one who smiles at you. Actually, he, he took care when we went for the camp meeting. The other day, he served me. Actually, I had a pair of bed sheets. He gave me a piece. Because of such, 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 such reasons, we have not discussed the details. I have not seen her weaknesses, her strength, her personalities, her ETC. But we rush into the thing because of some reasons. Marriage must be entered when the two really love each other unconditionally if conditions are there yes but they must be agreed upon <clears throat> they must be friends they must be friends an experience we are told of uh, an example where a husband came back and he brought bad news brought bad news of the death of the parent he found his wife in the sitting room trying to she was watching a a certain move and decorating herself and broke the bad news and said the mother has died the lady took it lightly you know she even wanted to move to to, to to introduce a makeup on her body then they go to mourn the husband insisted and we don't have to do all this we've got to pick a gomez put on a gomez something decent suitable for the function and then we go for some shopping some good amount of rice a maize flour, and all that will be required for the occasion. The woman did not accept all this. As they drove, they passed the road that branches to the girl's, the, the wife's home. And she inquired, and where are we driving to? He said, no. You know, I mean, they, they, they passed the road that branches to the boy's, the husband's home. The woman said, why are we passing? And this is the shortest route and the only route I know. Where are we going? Said, no, it is not the mother, my mother who died. It is your mother who died. They had a bitter quarrel. And said, and you took it like, like that? You have not done any shopping? You would have told me my mother's died. You simply said mother's died. Now, what do we learn from this? These two people were not friends. Their love, their relationship must have been conditional. Today we have a lot of marriage of convenience and less of marriage of commitment. We have a lot of marriage of convenience. People want, people want to marry in order for, for convenience, to be promoted, to have someone to watch for, 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 for him, to have someone to give him a company, to have someone to, to take care of the children, etc. Because the parents are pestering him, he has taken long, they are not seeing a grandchild. So he looks around for anyone, I said anyone, in marriage for a sweet relationship. We are not supposed to pick on anyone but someone. Someone must have particular qualities. The qualities of a good partner who shall expand them. I want to thank you, dear viewers, for subscribing and being part of us. I want to request that please continue subscribing to this and you have some extension to complete this discussion. Uh, we like your comments, continue bringing them because they help us as we prepare. May God bless you.